Well, we made it. We're over here to Tecumseh, Michigan. I'm uh, camping overnight up here in Tecumseh, Michigan. Let's check out cold weather camping, guys. We're 18 degrees right now. Overnight loads tonight are supposed to get around, I think, 6 degrees. I got the one tiger stove. We're going to test that out and see how she performs. We already did a burn on it. so. And we got this here electric heater. I'm waiting for my buddy, Josias, to show up. We're going to set up the other tent. tent. We have another hot tent, and we're going to set it up right over here. So. But we wanted to show you where we're starting out. It's about 6.15 and it's 18 degrees. We're gonna camp out here in Michigan. Over here to, to come. To well, getting ready to chop some of this, split some of this wood pieces for the fire. So how's it going over there? I'm uh, just about all set up. We get the, uh, what do you got for her to stay warm with? Uh, she has got the Slumberjack negative 20 degree bag. Oh, yeah. We did that little review on that, didn't we? Yes, we sure did. And we're going to test it out again tonight. And it's going to be... Uh, actually, tonight it's supposed to hit, what, 8 degrees? Yes, it is. 8 so degrees it, Guys, so it's pretty nippy. Yeah, we're roughing it up here. We're over here in Tecumseh, Michigan, doing a overnight camping adventure. And are you liking using that cot instead of a uh, sleep pad system? James? Well, you know, this is the first time for me to use that cot, so I'm not exactly sure. But I think by getting up off the ground, it might actually help out. Because, I don't know. I mean, I do got a, our, like, my uh, sleeping pad is rated, but it's not rated really low. So, it's kind of important, right? If we're going to be out in 8 degree weather on the ground, that we kind of have the right sleeping pad system. Otherwise, you're going to draw a lot of cold through the ground, and you're not going to be able to get warm. See, I did not know if that uh, cot allowed too much airflow underneath you. And well, see, the thing is with that cot is we got that electric blanket, so we're kind of cheating out here. Ah. Ah. Truth be told. Truth be told. We're cheating a little bit out here. Well, we're brewing some coffee here. I got the water. Lou, are you comfortable? What kind of temperature? It's going to be about 8 degrees tonight outside. We're 61 in here. I'm just getting this cranked up again. I kind of let it go out. Not out, out, but I choked it out is what I did. And we also got this little electric heater for when we actually crash out. Uh, we're going to run that at about 900 watts. So it's probably going to end up dipping down to like 30 in here tonight. But we also got electric blanket, the sleeping system right here, along with the 15 degree bag and we have a like I said we have a, a electric blanket so let's go over and check and see how Josiah is doing and his little tent set up and we'll take a look at this one on the outside and this is the one tigress uh, stove it's performing really well actually before I choked it out I had it at almost 70 in here so we'll see if we can get it back up here in a little bit. All right. Jeez, old Pete, we got a nice little setup in here. Yeah, a couple little setups going. And I'm about to set up the. So this is the uh, Mountain Cattle 
tent. It's supposed to be a one to three people. Do you think three people could fit in there? Uh, you got about one and a half. <laughs> That's about it. But we're, you're going to do two. But we're going to do two. Yep. Oh, I thought this was a zero degree bag. This one's a five degree bag. So you're going to sleep in that five degree bag? I am going to put this five degree bag. I'm going to test this one out because I put this five degree bag inside of a rectangle um, Coleman 45 degree standard buy at your local sporting good. Right. And I have one of those well. uh, heavy duty, really thick 50 degree ones in there. Yep. Yep. It's 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 like a boat anchor. It's a tank. It's heavy, heavy, heavy. So I and figure between the two, we might be able to do it. Right. Let me get so, out of your way so you can get a good view in here. Okay. We're going to take a little walk around. We had one little incident on this here tent. I don't know what happened, but when we took it out of the bag for the, like the second or third time, we got a little snag, a rip, and I'm not even sure how that happened. I'm thinking that possibly maybe a tent stake. That's the only thing I can think of. It seems like the material's constructed fairly decent, don't you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, and probably if we wanted to push the issue, we could probably reach out to these guys, and I still might do it and see if they'll send us a new uh, fabric. As far as uh, ease of setup, it was super easy to go up. Super easy. And what's overnight temperature again? <laughs> cold. <laughs> very that, cold. That's going to be very cold. Well, we know that uh, a lower rating on a bag is not what it keeps you comfortable at, but what it keeps you alive at. Right. We're going to check out that lower rating today. He's going to check out the lower rating. And this is a slumberjack. And this is the boat anchor. That's a boat anchor. That's a. We did a review on that. Yeah, go check that out. I'll try to link that in this video. Uh, that, it may be a boat anchor, but when you're going out in the winter conditions, you're not setting mileage records. No. no. So you, you know what you're getting yourself into. And for a couple extra pounds... I, I prefer stay warm. Right. Stay stay warm, stay safe, stay home. <laughs> <laughs> Test it out in the old backyard. Yeah. Micro adventures. Lou, what do you think? Are you miserable cold? I mean, we're in single digits right now, I believe. Are we in single digits? Do you know? We are at... Oh, my watch is upstairs. Uh-oh. I think we were possibly down in single digits right now. Close. We're, we're darn close outside. This is the one tigress. And this is what we call... Lou, get in there. Get in there. Lou, get in there. Get in there. I have to, I have to get on her. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. I left the door wide open. They're plenty dry inside. I mean, the walls aren't damp at all because look at our humidity, 29%. I don't got that cranking yet. My water's not going crazy. We dropped a few degrees, but I've had this open too. I've been working on that wood. Start chopping some wood right now. And... We're gonna get a little bit of video of Josiah working away at the wood. What's that? Don't hurt yourself. Break this off. Don't hurt yourself. All right. So he's trying to get a little bit of kindling. We got some firewood over here. Yeah. Is that no? There we go. Then what? Quite break where I He's actually to. trying to get rid of some of the boards that slaying around the house that he kind of wanted to burn up. And unfortunately, I didn't do this before 9:30 at night, so 
I don't think the neighbors would like me running my power saws. No, probably not. Close. Lou, what do you think? How's the little setup doing? Well, we got a fire going. Try this out next. Let's get in there, Lou. Dad wants to make some coffee. That's what the roaring, roar, roaring tiger, I think it's called the roaring, one tigerous roaring tiger. I'm sure I'm going to get somebody to crack me on YouTube about this. And the door's been wide open. Lou, come on. Go be making some coffee here in a second. See how we're doing on the temperature. I got rumba. Yahtzee. Ah. Cheers, guys. Cozy up. All right, so this is the little sleeping arrangement these guys got in here. We're doing an overnight camping over here at my buddy Josiah's house in Tecumseh, Michigan. And we want to test these hot tents out. And I've already tested them, so I'm pretty confident about it. And tonight it's going to get around 8 degrees. So it should be, uh, should be nice. Uh, what do we got for bags here? You got this bag right here. Two different kinds. Right. <clears throat> the uh, Teton, she got for me... What was it for my birthday? I think so. And that's a five degree bag. Five degree. Um, and we're a... gonna get down to what tonight? Eight. So. So. I am going to do a Coleman. Uh, I believe it's a forty-five degree, on top of the Teton five degree, and hope that I can sandwich some warmth in there. Maybe uh, get some uh, hand warmers thrown in there. Right. That's a good idea. And then and, she's going to be in that Slumberjack negative 20. And we did a review on that a while back. Of course, I mentioned that earlier in the video. It's a really warm sleeping bag. It's really, really warm. Really, really warm. Really warm. He come out. He said he uh, the last review we did on this bag, he come out and he said uh, he was down to his T-shirt and skibbies. Yeah, we Because we it was a... Uh, where was it? Pinkney uh, Waterloo. Yeah. <clears throat> we were on the Potawatomi. Yeah. And had these two bags. I think I slept in that one, actually, because yep. I get warmer than he does at night. I think that night it only got down to about Lou, 25, stop. 30. Yeah, but, but we were, I was hot. Right. In mine. Right. Like, I was And like, that's ah. normally how those bags work, <laughs> like, too. You well, get especially down. this one. You're right. She, uh, she was um, complaining at first how, oh, don't set that up there. Don't do that, guys. <laughs> That would be that would be bad. That is a butane torch. That's, uh, <laughs> not Safety be good. first. <laughs> we are in. Show them your new little lantern you just oh. got. Oh yeah, totally. it's really uh, cool. I'm trying to remember the name of the uh, manufacturer. You you got this at? Uh, didn't you buy this at like a clearance sale or something? Uh, Family Fireman You got home. it like yeah. for half off or something, didn't you? It's a uh, battery bank that. Oh my eyes. So are you so can bad. charge your phone, either iPhone or Android or tablet or anything. And it's collapsible, ain't it? And it's then collapsible you... and yep. it's a lan a high power lantern. Little stop. And it glows in the dark. So it's that a pretty cool. Under lumen on high. I think it's eighteen hour runtime. Do they got any more? Where are they at? They are at <laughs> family, family farm, farm and home. home. Coming in to, to come see here, and I think there was two more. Oh, but we're going to have to go check it out. That's 40 hours of runtime right there. 
I need one of those. And it's got That's a little the, thing to hang right up, the, don't it? Yep. What is it? Campfire? Uh, no, candle light. Candle. And then, um, we're going to go get there one tomorrow. There we go. And glow in the dark so you have a night light yep. when you're done. And that's all completely off. Lou, stop. Come here, Bokey. Boke Bokes. And if Come you guys here, like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And, and oh, lady looks terrified right now. <laughs> don't be terrified. I'm not terrified. Don't be terrified. Uh, when he brought that home, I thought it was actually cool, that little lamp. It's a. It's actually got a very big battery on it. I try. I can't remember off the top of my head how many uh, M A H or whatever it's measured in. Well, and when you're camping, you don't really have any other way to charge in, uh, except your car. So it's nice to have a battery bank. And when you're backpacking. And long distances. I have not found a good battery bank that is not heavy, though. That's the problem. And this one's really light. Right. Super light. Ounces count, guys. Ounces count. Yeah, they do when you're carrying a big old pack. All right, guys, I'm gonna jump back in the thing for a minute and warm back up because it's a little chilly out here. All right. Okay. Well, good morning there. How did you sleep? I slept quite comfortably. I got uh, six hours, uh, over six hours of sleep. Uh, which is very good for me. Right. Um, it stayed nice and toasty warm in here until I let the fire go out uh, for safety purposes. But uh, I definitely would, keep, on a cold night like this, keep a keep some embers going. Right, keep some embers going. I, I basically tendered mine all night long. It's, it, uh, it stayed, uh, when I had the fire going real good, it stayed about 70 degrees in here when it was only 8 degrees outside. Right. Right. So you're pretty pleased with the performance of the mountain cattle uh, tent itself and keeping you warm. I am and very pleased. the the um, uh, what uh, stove number is this? The TC <laughs> TC. It's the it's the little time. The little time. The uh, it did a good good job. Um, Cut your wood six to ten inches max. Uh, I noticed I had some wood that was a little long that I left the door cracked a little bit, but it got soot up in my uh, vent, so I'm gonna have to clean that. But aside from that, did really, really good. Uh, conditions last night were clear, so no snowfall. Uh, I'm looking at testing it again and a, a good heavy snow to see how that that holds, holds up, up under the weight but with the design it shouldn't be an issue no and what are we getting ready to head out to do we are gonna go do about two and a half um with once again some good elevation change get some good photos get a couple of videos and the temperature right now i think it's in the 20s isn't it it is 18 degrees, but that's not giving me my feel like. I bet you it feels probably about 9, 10 degrees out here. <laughs> All right, guys. If you like this style video, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube. Check us out on Facebook and North Country Backpacking Group. Yep. No, um, check us out on TikTok, Instagram. And you can also... If you'd like to check out Josiah, you can find me on Facebook at Josiah Richard Miller. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook at Clean and Serene Cleaning LLC. That is his business page. And he has a full-time job too, so he's a yes. very busy man. I work, uh, I'm going to plug it, because we are the biggest of the big three for hourly jobs in North America, and I, I work for Ford. There you go. So All in a nutshell. Yep. All right, guys, thanks for joining us in this here nice short overnight camping trip. Short hike, short overnight camping trip, test out the gear. It was a one-day deal, but we made it through the night. It got downright cold outside, but nice and toasty inside, and that's the way we like it. And both the stoves 
did a really good job. Both the tents performed well, and we survived the night in single-digit weather. How, how warm did you get yours up to? 74. 74. 74. But I had the cheater, too. I had the little electric heater as a kicker. You know, for, for straight wood, this did a great job. Right. This was really warm in here. All right, guys. We'll catch you at the next one. Peace out, and happy trails.